Okay, so we've talked about electromagnetic waves. Now you're going to do a little experiment on your own and measure the speed of an electromagnetic wave, right? So at your house, take a paper plate, right? And then get two little craft singles and open them up. And this works well with a... You do it with a chocolate bar too, but craft singles are cheap, right? Nobody wants to waste chocolate. And so like if somebody's going to get mad at you, right? Like parents don't want you wasting cheese slices, then just put it on bread and make a grilled cheese later, right? Or you can do it with a one of those big chocolate bars and you can make s'mores after you're done. That'll work too, right? So take it, set it up like this, and then you're going to come over to your microwave, right? And in your microwave, turn this off. You don't want this rotating thing in there, right? So we'll just take this out. And we'll take this thing out too. Okay? And that's probably going to rotate, so I'm going to stick something over it. Right? Just get another plate and throw it over. That should be good. All right, so now I got that. And so what you're going to do is put your cheese in the middle of the microwave, right? So when you turn this thing on, it shouldn't rotate. And then close it. And then I'm just gonna start it, but it's gonna it's gonna happen really quick. So let's watch. Can you hear it start popping? Well, there we go. I heard it. Oh yeah! Look at that. All right. So once you got your cheese, you can take it out and examine it. So if you look on my cheese, I've got. Uh, bunch of melted spots up here but look down here these two are probably going to be the best so there's a wave right and the wave kind of looks like that sort of and the peaks are where these little spots are so if you mark it on your plate right there to there if you measure between those spots you should be able to get the wavelength right so that would be my wavelength. And then we remember from last year, velocity is frequency times wavelength, right? So if I know my wavelength and you go to the back of your microwave and you look on it, it'll tell you the frequency. So you can plug in the frequency of your microwave and the wavelength and you can solve for the speed of light, which is pretty cool because the first experiment to find the speed of light involved like two mountains and there was like this thing up here with a rotating mirror and they shined a beam off and let it bounce back and they timed how long it took, right? And it was this crazy setup and it involved like going up on two mountains, right? Which was nuts. And you just found a relative approximation of the speed of light using cheese. Congratulations. You're awesome.